Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The government of Western Armenia organized a memorial ceremony at its Eternakabert Memorial Complex. Azerbaijan has desecrated the Hadrut Church. The cross was removed. The Armenian inscription was erased. On April 13, 1991, the Operation Ring began to forcibly relocate the Armenian settlement of Artsakh. We will not be part of Azerbaijan. We will continue to be at the De facto independent state, David Babayan, Osman Kavala, sentenced to life imprisonment, called a verdict of court unexpected. Aliyev insists on negotiation in trilateral format of Baku, Ankara and Yerevan. National Dance Day will be celebrated in Armenia. On April 28, a commemoration ceremony for the victims of genocide of Armenians was held on the territory of Tsitsernagabert Memorial Complex, which is organized annually by a government of Western Armenia. The event was attended by members of Western Armenian government, NA deputies, citizens of Western Armenia, the residents of Shushi, and guests from various organizations. According to tradition, the memorial ceremony began with the anthem of Western Armenia, performed by the singer, composer, and poet Arsen Hamba. Prime Minister of Western Armenia Seda Melikian made a welcoming speech, after which the historian from Shushi Vladimir Harutunyan, Hasmik Akhverdian, an employee of Acharent's Museum of Literature, made a speech too. She is the co-author of a book entitled Response 100 Years Later, and later presented a copy of the book to Prime Minister of Western Armenia. Some speeches were made by son of Western Armenia, a French citizen artist as Sylvia, and fighter of Asala, the government of Cilicia was given against Sicilian. At the end of the ceremony, Prime Minister Seda Melikian gave passports and certificates to the new citizens of Western Armenia. The event ended with a speech by Arsen Hambarian. On April 27, 2022, Azerbaijan news agencies distributed materials entitled They Celebrated Easter in Hadrut, also publishing new photos of Armenian Church of St. Harutun in Hadrut. Examination of the photographs clearly shows that a cross was removed from the church. All this is the result of the policy planned by Azerbaijan, as evidenced, in particular by statements of high-ranking officials of this country. Earlier, Azerbaijan President Ilya Maliev, during his visit to the Church of St. Astor, in the Hadrut region called for the Armenian writings to be erased without hiding the very essence of Azerbaijan's policy against the Armenian culture or heritage. St. Harutun Church was built in 1621. Later it was renovated in 1819. It was then the dome of the church was installed. On April 13, 1991, a large-scale operation ring of the partition of Armenian settlements of Artsakh by Azerbaijani forces and atrocities against Armenians began and continued until August. The main actors in the implementation were the Special Purpose Unit of the Military Ministry of International Affairs of Azerbaijan, supported by units of internal troops and a force army of Ministry of Internal Affairs of USSR. On April 30, the villages of Getashen and Martuni were shelled, during which tanks helicopter gunships and artillery were used against the peaceful Armenian population. In fact, there were killings of Armenians motivated by ethnic hatred, torture and other atrocities. As a result of the operation, more than 2,000 villages were destroyed, almost 10,000 people were deported and more than 100 were killed. Moreover, as a result of Operation Ring, 100 people were taken hostage and the fate of many people is still unknown. The negotiation on the Armenian-Azerbaijan peace treaty cannot extend the status of Artsakh and its future fate. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Artsakh, David Babayan, stated this in a parliament of Artsakh. He confirmed the position of official Stepanakert to continue the path of independence and thinks that only the OSC Minsk Group has the mandate to solve the problem. According to the Artsakh Foreign Minister, the demarcation of the border between Armenia and Azerbaijan does not apply to Artsakh. In turn, the chairman of National Assembly of Artsakh, Artur Tomasian, noted that the issue of the status of Artsakh is given the mandate of the OSCE Minsk Group. Recently, the well-known Turkish human rights activist Osman Kavala, who was sentenced to life imprisonment, called the court's decision unexpected. According to him, the Turkish court's decision completely contradicts European law, the fair judicial system and the decisions taken. According to him, because of this decision, Turkey will be in a difficult situation. Osman Kavala's decision provoked sharp criticism from the Turkish opposition, a number of Western countries and structures, including the United States. The State Department 
government expressed deep concern about this decision, considering it contrary to human rights and the rule of law. After the verdict was announced, thousands of people in different districts come out demanding justice. Armenia has rejected several proposals for conducting trilateral negotiations at different levels, Aliyev said. Our partners are aware of this news. No one knows the reason for their refusal. I think this approach is extremely inefficient. If we look at the future of the region, Armenia's policy does not follow any logic within the framework of regional security, cooperation and development in the South Caucasus. Armenia should establish relations with Azerbaijan and Turkey, while renouncing territorial claims to Azerbaijan and Turkey, Aliyev said, speaking on a topic, South Caucasus Development and Cooperation. It is especially noteworthy that a forum is being held in the occupied Armenian city of Shushi. Armenian dance art has been the richest base of our national and cultural heritage for thousands of years. This is not only an indicator of our aesthetic perceptions, ideas, but also one of the most striking ways to preserve national identity. Through dance, Armenians not only try to strengthen our national spirit and collective image, but also were a symbol of our unity and identity. The International Dance Day is celebrated on April 29th. However, as the chairman of Union of National Dancers and Dancers of Armenia, Honored Workers of Cultural Republic of Armenia, Karen Gevorkian, notes the National Dance Day will soon be celebrated in Armenia too. Now musical part, Armenian folk song, Shogakatn Ensemble. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.